Welcome everyone to Depression to Expression. I'd like to tell you a little secret. So come in close, because I don't want anyone else to know. Like, this is pretty nuts. Um, turn your volume down if you have headphones, that's cool. I don't want anyone else to hear. So come in close. You ready? Are you ready? Okay, come here. Come into the computer screen. Come close to my face. Okay, ready? We are on a rock. Flying through space. And if you tell anyone... Now I know what you're thinking. Scott, I know we're on planet Earth. No shit. I know we're flying through space. But I only think about these things when it's necessary. When I'm going through some kind of midlife quarter life crisis. When I'm stoned out of my mind. This is only when I think of these things. Well, let me tell you, you don't have to be stoned to think of this. You don't, I swear, I swear, you don't need to be stoned. This perspective, this insane perspective, this reality that we live in, because that's the fact, we're on this rock flying through space. This doesn't trip me out. This keeps me calm. I think this keeps me the happiest throughout everyday life, because how can you complain? How can you sweat the small stuff? this mundane bullshit in everyday life. How can that bother you when you look at the big picture of life? When you look at this mystery, this, this space that we're in, and we're just a bunch of organisms who evolved from fish. It is absolutely humbling and keeps me grounded. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is Joe Rogan, uh, his podcasts are really cool. His conspiracy theories are and his agreement about those are a little out there. Uh, but his ideas in general are kind of in line with mine. And that's where I got this. I didn't get this perspective from him. I've been thinking about this since I was two years old, which is probably why I'm a little crazy. Uh, but he was talking about, you know, people will travel to the Grand Canyon and want to experience all these things. When in reality, if you can't afford those things or don't have the time, all you need to do is look up. Look at a damn star. And you will experience something that is out of this world. And I don't know how, like I wanna go into work and I wanna talk to people every day. I, I don't know how we don't talk about these things every day. Go into work and be like, yo, did you see the sun today? Isn't that fucking crazy? There's a ball of hydrogen out there? That's actually what I wanna talk about every day. I feel like you should just go, be able to go into a Dunkin' Donuts or Tim Hortons. Hi, could I get a large coffee please? Yeah, that's fine. It'll be $2.50. Okay, there you go. Did you see the stars last night? Oh my god! And then the cashier's like, oh my god, yes I did. Is that fucking crazy? I just want to let you guys know that when I'm having um, a panic attack or when I'm feeling depressed or just an overwhelming sense of anxiety, that's the perspective I put in my mind. And when I'm thinking of, you know, smaller problems that I'm stressing about. I just think, oh yeah, that really doesn't matter. In the grand scheme of things, the restaurant that was out of maple syrup, I shouldn't be upset about that. I shouldn't be stressing that my Amazon order came two weeks late. I shouldn't be stressing that my flight was delayed two hours because after all, I'm going into a freaking plane and experiencing the miracle of flight. I think of the big picture, the rock in space picture, and that calms me down. It really does. Some people like to think of, you know, a, a god and think of religion and, you know, a god is, or your god is looking upon you and, and taking care of you and everything you do in life should be done you know, through him and, and with purpose. And when you die, you're going to meet your friends and see all your relatives. And that comforts a lot of people. And sometimes it comforts me. I'm like, yeah, maybe there is a God. <laughs> Everything's going to be okay. But most of the time, what comforts me is thinking that I'm so small and that I don't matter. It's really weird to say. But in, in the grand scheme of things, I don't matter. Yes, I matter to my immediate family and friends and what I do um, on YouTube and, and things like that. But what humbles me and, and keeps me sane and keeps me happy and, and keeps me 
um, keeps existence relatively manageable because sometimes guys it's existence alone just waking up is just like shit life is hard existing is hard and this perspective just set, just just reminds me that i'm here i didn't choose to be here we evolved i'm going to do the best i can and when i die whatever happens happens I have no control. There's a lot less pressure in that for me than thinking that uh, I got a guardian angel and a god's looking over me. I'm like, shit, leave me alone. Give me some privacy. Um, I just wanted to share that perspective, the rock through space. Joe Rogan, uh, thanks for reminding me of that. I think about this like every day, maybe once every couple days. Um, I'll look out the, can you see the reflection through the window? Anyways, I'll look outside my condo at night and the moon will just be right there and I'll be like, holy shit. If it were up to me, I wouldn't do anything all day and I'd just look at space. Should I become a, an astrophysicist or, or an astronaut? No, I, I couldn't be that because um, I'm not smart and I can't do math and stuff. Yeah. Anyways, random video. If you're feeling stressed, if you're feeling overwhelmed, if, if you're feeling like existence is just a little too much, whoa, that, that became bright. If you're feeling existence is a little too much, just think, you're here, do the best you can, because Earth is just gonna keep on flying through space. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more wacky ideas from yours truly, Scott, the stoner YouTuber.